Welcome to Black is Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. And uh, Grand Rising, my loves. I hope you slept really good and woke up with the best, most glowiest skin you could have ever asked for. It is motherfucking Tuesday, and y'all already know it's going up on Tuesday. Got your girl in the club. She choosing good going up on Tuesday. You already know the rest. But anyway, before I get and bust down into your general message where I expose everything to you, you know I gotta lighten this Palo Santo. Let's go. Gotta come see your prayers and you open up my third eye so that I can give the collective every small or huge detail that they need to be aware of as well as know of. I ask that any energies or any entities that may be lingering around me trying to harm me or throw me off, I ask that you grab them by the front of their scalp, that little piece of hair right there, wrap it around, and throw them back to hell. Amen. <laughs> love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Let's go. Let's get into this, baby. All right. Let's clarify. Mm. I feel like somebody's about to confess something to you. Give me a second. Somebody's calling me. Like, confirmation. Somebody's going to call you and confess something to you. It could be confess their love to you, confess a secret to you. Confess anything to you. This could be a lover. This could be a friend. This could be a family member. But just be aware that somebody is going to contact you. Mm -hmm. But this is somebody that you have chose to move around from. Like You realize this person is a time waster. If this is a friend, you realize they're not a real friend. If this is a lover, you realize that either they put you in a third party or they're just not it for you. If this is a family member, you know that they're messy. So you're going to realize that um, I don't really want to talk to this person. I really don't. <laughs> and I don't even see you answering it because I didn't answer that phone call and I know you're not going to answer it either. So anyways, let's clarify. Mm -mm, that was shit. Let's try this again. But at the bottom it says move on. So whoever contacts you today or I'm getting tomorrow, they don't they don't need to be nowhere near accepted talk to giving your time to i just feel like this person don't deserve it what does the collective need to know what does the collective need to know what does the collective need to know i heard it right here i'm chunky do you want to play for some of you all y'all are tired of being nice you're tired of being nice, you're tired of being overlooked, you're tired of being played with, and you're tired of, tired of being made a fool out of. And at this point in your life, do you want to play? <laughs> I feel like you're leaving a, a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces alone. Literally, you're leaving them alone. They're not for you. I, already, I heard they already had somebody before you, so they're probably dealing with somebody that you don't even know about. What is the collective need to know? 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 I feel like God is sending you to continue to manifest what you want out of life. Continue to manifest those relationships that you want. Continue to just manifest put in the work don't just wish upon a star put in the work my love and somebody from your distant past this could be an ex this could be a situation shit this could be whatever or whoever it feels like to you but this is a water sign cancer scorpios or pisces this person is going to try to come back to you and what you're going to do you're going to hit them with that hell no because you see them as a narcissist you see them as somebody who is a love bomber somebody who is Somebody who uses money to woo you, screw you, and do you, then leave you. Somebody who, like I said, already has somebody. Somebody 
You also may be dealing with somebody who's an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius that your intuition definitely gave off red flags about. Like, these options, God is protecting you from them because they're not for you. And for most of y'all, they got health problems, they got STDs, or they may just have mental health problems. Then they truly cannot love you properly. And when you're done with these people, for the, for, the, for the ones who are not currently dealing with this person, they do watch you. They do keep tabs on you. And when you stop dealing with this person, they're going to start watching you and they're going to start keeping tabs on you because they know that you are a catch. And anybody would be lucky to have you. See, this is somebody who is about to come back to you. I know I just told you that somebody's going to reach out and confess something, but you it's only going to end in your heart being broken. Because you have good intentions, true intentions, and you show true love, real love. This person don't. This person is going to come to you and try to get back with you. So expect this person to reach out to you today, tomorrow, no later than this weekend. Because they see you as theirs, their favorite, theirs, their, their property, their lover, no one else's. Meanwhile, they got somebody else already. What sense does that make? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck out of here. What's this person's hidden truth? What's this person's hidden truth? This person knew exactly what they were doing. They know exactly what they're doing too when they come back around. <laughs> this is somebody who still isn't going to let you get close to them. They're still in player energy. <clears throat> truth. They're not going to tell you the truth. This person knows that they're not for you. But they're going to still try to contact you because in their delusion, they see you all getting back together again. And my advice to you is, you better not. You better not. <laughs> Literally, this person is so delusional that they truly think that they can get you back. <laughs> Who do they think they are? <laughs> Who do they think they are? Let's see what's going on in your current love life. The current love life for the collective. Current love life. Current love life for the collective. What's going on? Current love life. Current love life. Mm, you're dealing with a player. You're currently dealing with somebody who is a red, red flag. A red flag. This person is a player. This person is unhealed when it comes to childhood trauma, relationship trauma. This is somebody that you can express your love to, but you won't get it back. This is somebody who makes you feel like this is real. Somebody who sells you a dream. Somebody who feels like true love. But this person just don't put in enough effort. This person is not your true, your true soulmate. I feel like this is somebody who, I don't know what they call them, but like... The devil knows who to bring into your life, right? Especially when you're looking for a soulmate. This is the type of person that is everything that you want, looks wise, but they're just not it. Like this is somebody who was sent in to confuse you. And this is exactly what they did. And this is exactly why you're going to release this person. They're not for you. And for some of you all, this person's a hoe. A hoe either with some money or money problems. Let's see, new love. I know you need to get away from whoever you with right now, though. Mm-mm. Because I'm seeing a big hoe with an unhealed heart. Ooh-wee. Mm. Like, literally, I'm going to title this. The hoe with the unhealed heart has a nerve to have a delusion of that y'all will be back together again. Like, he has a delusion that y'all will be back together again. Child, please. New love. New love for the collective. New love for the collective. New love. Ooh. New love for the collective. New love. I'm hearing your new love is going to be your true love. 
But always, always keep your eyes open for any type of deception. Because yes, they may put in a lot of effort. Yes, this may be your soulmate. Yes, this may be the one. Yes, this may be heaven sent. Yes, this may be a love of a lifetime. And you're going to feel so happy. And the chemistry is going to be there. And you're going to be able to trust this person. And yes, y'all will get married. But this person is going to be very codependent. Are they going to be emotionally manipulative? Are they going to be a love bomber? Are they going to be a liar? It depends. You have to really, truly open your eyes and keep watch of this person because it's something about them that is deceptive. It's something about them. Now, yeah, new love seems cute and all, but something, it's something that's going to make you be like, Some, some may write about this one. Something's off about this one. It could be as, as small as communication. It's just something is just off about this person. But I feel like you could work through it, but I mean, why work through it when you can find somebody else? But some of y'all, you all, the thing that is, that's not right with them is that they're hiding the fact that they don't have much hiding your intentions because they see you as the one. Somebody who's fighting their own demons. Meanwhile, you're going towards what you want out of life alone. Like, you, you're not begging for no help. You're doing this by yourself. See, you're calling in and manifesting in real love. And you do have a lot of people who fake the funk and act like they're what you're looking for. Knowing that they're just a charming devil who plan on using you because they truly don't have no way out in life. They truly don't have no new lessons coming in. Truly are clowns. Meanwhile, you're going for your dreams and God is blessing you with everything. I feel like God is telling you to remain strong, poised, motivated, and determined because you do got people in your life who truly see you as a option, as a trophy, as a toy, as something to quench their thirstful lust. And God is saying that you're more than that. See, you are an emperor, an empress, somebody who has the gift of knowing. And people sit back and watch you, plot on you, wishing that they had a piece of your success. When they can work hard to get it, because they don't they don't see how hard you had to work to push yourself back together to find yourself to actually be who you are today. These are people who are snakes, people who are gaslighters, people who truly have nothing in life, who grew up around toxic shit. So they grew up to be a complete narcissistic love bomber who breaks hearts. Just to break them. But God is putting these people through karma because why would you do why would you do that to you? Why would they do that to you? And when it comes to your fake friends and family members, they were laughing then, but they not laughing now. Because everybody who's done you dirty in the past, this is what their life looks like. Empty, dead, dull, boring. Sad. You get what you give. You get what you give. Literally, God helped you repair yourself and gave <laughs> burdens to the people who decided to play you. That's their fault. They should have been a better person. You don't feel sorry for losers. Let's get you some messages. What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? See, you may currently have narcissistic friends or somebody that you're dealing with or used to deal with. 
has narcissistic friends. So just know that the advice that they get on the daily is trash. They're trash, honestly. This is somebody who you used to talk to, who still admires you, who wonders, are you over them? Uh, yeah, you're getting over them. <laughs> Why? Because they're not shit. They're not. God is telling you to step on their necks to get to the top because celebrity status is yours. See, this is literally the truth. Like, you're the truth. You even got people who hate you because you're getting paid, sitting around broke and mad. Like, instead of getting on a on a job, they are rather sit around jealous of you. You even got somebody who's currently that you're currently dealing with. I'm hearing a water sign who is literally cheating on you, who who is putting you in a third party and you don't even know it. You also got somebody who is a fire sign. I'm hearing also air sign or earth sign who is love sick over you, who needs you back in their life, who wants you back in their life. But I'm not feeling like you should ever give anybody from the past a chance because they were past for a reason. They couldn't they couldn't stick around for a reason. They didn't make the cut for a reason. God is telling you to be more logical and keep your heads out the clouds. Because if you continue to use your heart instead of your brain, you're gonna be the one that's crying, asking God why. Okay. Okay. Let's get you one more set of messages and then we're gonna let you go with some angel messages for today. What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? I feel like if you... <laughs> I feel like you recently had sex with somebody and it was crappy. I feel like if you choose to have sex with this person who is trying to come back to you or you may be currently dealing with, the sex is going to be crappy and you're going to feel like you wasted the body. <laughs> so, and it's because this person doesn't have any good intentions for you. And this is a water sign of cancer. God is saying that this person only wants to receive love. Like this person is attention hungry. They're an attention whore. They're an attention whore. You're not going to get any satisfaction from this person. And this person is also a DL man. A gay woman. This person is also an escort, male or female. And God is telling you that the time is up. Please leave them. Don't, don't listen to when they say don't leave them. No, baby, leave this person. Because not only are they dirty in the pants, they're non-genuine, so they're dirty in their heart. So allow God to use you as a testimony to keep you away from, as well as... I feel like God be bringing you into these people's life to show them what they could have if they chose to live right. And then he takes you away because they continue to be damaged. They continue to not heal themselves. See, this person was supposed to be your divine masculine. But, uh things that they're doing aren't that masculine so yeah yeah mm -mm. god is telling you please don't take a chance on this person their dl their escort they got too many bodies they didn't screw whoever they have no good intentions they're delusional they're narcissistic they're sick literally this person is also a trickster and a liar, so you can't believe nothing that they say. But this person is going to drunk call you, being desperate, trying to get you back. And they'll even get to the, go to the point of stoop, stooping low of trying to project their problems onto you, their insecurities onto you, their faults onto you. This person currently is owing karmic debt, so they're going through a lot right now while you're sitting pretty and unbothered. <laughs> As you should. God is saying that you need to get more rest and you need to also know that you done put this person to rest and they regret every little bit of it and they're currently going through a karmic cycle 
because they chose to not live right. So God is telling you to release this person if you haven't already released them because you truly need to stop and think before you make a mistake because this person truly can't keep what's in their pants to their self and they don't care about you. And this person is in a relationship and they also are carrying around an STD. This person is de depressed, mental issues, sexual issues. Disgusting. A roach. God is protecting you from this person. And this person has the nerve to try to keep up with you. But God is saying, make a quality choice because this person is a false person. And they money funny. And you know what's going to go? Ha what's gonna happen to them? They're going to end up experiencing erectile dysfunction because of that's their karma. They That's what they use. That's what they use to get what they want. God going to take it away. <laughs> and they're going to want to come back to you trying to start over once they're single. But they ain't going to do nothing but hurt you. Because they they got a hidden family. So they got kids too. God is saying, put yourself first. Never second because this person is going to lose their job. And they're going to become a homosexual. Bleaching off of you. Mm -mm. Selling their dick. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And for the ones who are dealing with a Libra, you make this person feel small just by having gifts. They're truly a hater. <laughs> and it's divine time and that God is telling you that you need to get these people out your life. Because I've already exposed them. They're done. They're done. Leave them alone so that you can receive your blessings. Because this person be having sex in secret places, outside, everywhere, baby. So put your guard up and get your money up. <laughs> That's your message, my love. Let's get you some angel numbers because, woo, that was heavy. What does the collector need to know? 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 One, 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 that your, your intuition is always on point. Always on point. Never second guess yourself. Especially when it comes to something that you think, that you feel on the deep inside. Like if a nigga really like booty hole not. You know, you know. The intuition be blurring. Don't play yourself. It's the same. Angel number three, divine intervention. God is in divine direction. God is basically helping you along this path. He's definitely guiding you away from these people, though. Because, baby, this is a den full of snakes. Literally. Literally. Also, you have the red and spirit. You may be feeling angry or stressed about something. This could be how your love life is going as well as your career life. Don't worry about it because God is literally making a way for you. And he's making a way for you out of this karmic cycle and once you're out of it and you're in the clear then god can bless you because he don't want nobody that's around you right now to even get an inch an ounce a sprinkle of what he's about to give you i appreciate you for watching this morning and i uh, hope you have a great tuesday uh-huh happy hour tuesday turn up for me don't do too much where you can't drive home safely or drive back to work safely and answer them calls all right all right I want to thank everybody who does support me on a day-to-day -day basis. I love y'all so freaking much. I want to thank everybody who does support me when it comes to cash app donations. Y'all know I love me some money. It goes to the channel as well as little old me. I also want to thank everybody who does super thanks because you don't have to bless me, but you do. And I appreciate you to the moon and back. Thank you. I also want to appreciate as well as thank everybody who does, you know, book your girl for personal readings. You know what I'm going to do every time. And that is tell you why you need to put your guard up. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.